Flintlock fires cannonballs that damage and knock back groups of enemies. If angled correctly, the cannonballs can bounce before exploding, dealing damage multiple times. It does not consume ammo, but has very low durability. The bowler is an impact heavy cannonball launcher focused on dealing a lot of damage in a small area through its bouncing effect. You see, if you make a trap tunnel, the bouncing effect will be very powerful as it can bounce on the walls of a trap tunnel, meaning you can hit multiple husks, including the same husk like a smasher multiple times back to back, meaning that this weapon's potential damage is just extraordinary high. With the current setup that I'm running, I'm running damage, still need more epic perks, um, damage to increase its flat damage bonus. You can also run this with Miss Monster if you prefer to make it a Miss Monster killer. I personally don't. Then we have reload speed. I was also opting maybe going for impact, but if you decide to run impact on it, you're gonna have um, a longer reload time, which is kind of a pain with this weapon. And the impact is already high enough to stagger most husks with one shot. Second, the alum element. The element I chose was fire. It comes with physical when you buy it. Um, there are only, I don't really recommend you to get physical um, rocket launchers or explosive weapons since physical is pretty much only meant to pick off specific husks and with a grenade launcher you just want to mow down a group. And since I needed a good fire explosive weapon, I opted for fire. Lastly, I ran durability because it's a little bit more resource friendly, I guess. Um, you can shoot more cannonballs, which means that your total weapon damage is higher. You can run reload speed if you really want to spam them. Um, impact, if again, combined with this one, you can do some mad impact. But its impact is high enough to stagger smashers, as you will see from the gameplay. Slowing and snaring is, you know, a combo. The weapon came with snare, and if you just put snare on it, you'll do 45% bonus damage. And it's actually quite useful because if you hit a husk, it's going to be slowed down, which in a trap tunnel is beneficial to you. Especially if you put um, floor spikes, if you put these bad boys in your trap tunnel, they're going to be already slowed down, damages and slows all enemies, meaning that your first hit with the cannonball will already deal 45% more damage. The setup I'll be running with is Demolitionist Penny. The Demolitionist Hero is focused on explosions. We have decoy, base, and bull rush. And as perks, you have yourself faster explosions, grease the wheels, kinetic overload, you're coming with me, automated defenses, exit plan, and enduring machine. Oh yeah, and get ready for surprise. This means that your decoy, the last perk, will explode. It's a pretty cool perk. And enduring machine is the main thing you want to go for. While standing on your base, you're going to do 60% less durability. On top of that, you have faster explosions, increases explosive weapon reload speed by 35%. Combining those two together, you have yourself a hero who's focused on pumping more damage with explosive weapons. On top of that, I ran Carbide to get, or Cobalt Commando, to get additional reload speed. Um, there's nothing really meant for explosive weapons but you can run anything um i'm thinking if you put energy on your rocket launcher it's maybe smart to put an energized so you deal more damage i for instance put that when i'm running neon the neon rocket launcher um the noble launcher uh for mostly uh, there aren't really any perks so just do anything that fits your play style um, as tactical slot, I decided to run Survivalist from the Master Grenadier. Um, just so I get a little bit of passive healing, you can also run your move creep. This is kind of an overrated tactical in my opinion, because okay, it deals damage, but it does not deal a lot of damage. It's in maybe a full duration, you may deal half, dam half health to a normal husk, which okay, it's free damage, but 
you wait, you lose a tactical slot. So that's why I personally prefer to either run Fuel the Base from Heavy Base, the Neon Constructor, to kick yourself additional um, damage if you stand on your base, which is something you will be doing to get that 60% durability gain. You can also run Power Base, who is here. So you have uh, self repairing walls, which is always a good thing. Um, I was also maybe thinking of maybe going for explosive rounds from Raven to do even more explosions, which would actually be pretty fun. But in the end, I opted for survivability, since I already have a pretty beefy health. Being able to stay topped is actually pretty good, as you can see from the gameplay. I also used a defender, the bruiser. He has uh, axe damage, so I gave him an axe. He's actually pretty good recommend bruisers and in the end these are my fort stats if you want to compare them to yours the mission we're going to be doing is this thunder Wolf 99 retrieve the data so in the end what is my verdict on this weapon well it's 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 an exclusive weapon you can only get it in the week um, so definitely buy it it's 1680 gold you should be able to get that and maybe it will be gone and never come back or maybe it's only coming back next year, we never know. So definitely purchase it, at least for collection's sake. And for damage sake, I would say, it's in between. If you hit your shots well, you're gonna deal a lot of damage. However, you need to have a little bit of luck and a lot of skill on your side. If you are fighting on an open field, you're screwed. If you're not having any trap tunnels, you're screwed. If you do not have something like a decoy, you're screwed. If you're doing a one-on-one -on -one against the mini boss, you're screwed. So this, that makes this weapon very situational. However, when the situation does arrive where you can use this weapon, it's actually a lot of fun because you can deal a lot of damage as well as have some cool sound effects, cool visual design, and just it, it feels satisfying to shoot. I had a blast, pun intended, shooting this weapon. I I just I just couldn't stop spamming left click during the whole bash. It's 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 fun. That that's literally all I can, all I can say. Its damage is a bit too low because in most of the times you're only gonna hit him once. So if you are still looking for a very powerful rocket launcher, the base game RPG is amazing. However, if you're looking for a fun grenade launcher, this bad boy is for you. This has been Keflex, and see you all later.